Sasile is a colony of 50 kinetic, but non-motile pods that respond to changes in ambient light levels. Although pods share a simple, common morphology, each reacts to environmental change in subtly different and often surprising ways. These differences arise from several factors, but are most strongly driven by changes in a pod's emotional state, as well as the social fabric of the colony in which pods are embedded. The behavior and responses of pods is strongly defined by the fact that they are sessile, or fixed in place. This orientation to the world denies them the possibility of flight as a response to aggression or environmental change. Given this, individuals in the sessile colony each have a continuously fluctuating level of anxiety that is influenced by recent environmental events, and this, combined with communication amongst neighbors, directly informs immediate response. In the absence of human visitors, pods are in a state of rest. They calmly and gently move their limbs. By sensing shadows that fall upon their bodies, pods become aware of their visitors and begin to respond. Reactions reflect the magnitude and duration of shadows, and every shadow affects the pod's level of anxiety. As anxiety climbs, the pod's response escalates. If pushed far enough, pods may eventually close their limbs and remain briefly dormant until once again calm enough to re-engage their surroundings. During these moments, pods broadcast messages of alarm to their neighbors. Similar to physical movements, message frequency increases with elevated levels of anxiety. Messages can lead to sympathetic behavioral shifts in neighbors, including closure and dormancy. Coordinated behaviors beyond the level of the neighborhood may arise but are not explicitly encoded in the system. As pods are morphologically, electronically, and programmatically identical to each other, there are no overarching global controls. Rather, every individual pod listens, watches, and communicates its experience. Based on the cumulative effects of these processes, individual and social responses arise. As the colony lives, variation in response arises as a reflection of current stimulation, past engagement, and the network of neighboring warning calls. Sometimes responses come quickly. Sometimes they have to be drawn out. In every case, response echoes the history and future of the colony. The fact that sessile pods are fixed in place also strongly defines their morphology. Radial symmetry arises in non-motile creatures because they generally do not engage in directional movements. As such, they do not require the bilateral symmetry of their motile cousins. Each sessile pod is composed of three delicate limbs supported by drive plates and leg-like body elements. These limbs and their supports are spirally arranged around the centrally located actuator. The limbs are driven in symphony by a plate linkage and guide system. The legs have openings that aid peripheral communication and further suggest the pod's fragility. Dry plates and sensor surfaces are shaped to give the appearance of opening and closing in concert with the movement of limbs. All anatomical elements are custom CNC milled from PVC and nylon. The nervous and control systems are both distributed across the body of pods and serve as their substrate. The main circuit board is based on the Arduino platform and houses motor drivers, sensor connections, and controls the communication board. Messages are transmitted between pods via infrared LEDs located on a communication daughter board. Messages are received by three frequency-tuned infrared detectors that mount to the bottom of the actuator. All boards are handmade and shaped.
Sessile develops an engagement between human and device that occurs as mutual exploration, not simply unidirectional control. Each pod exists as an evolving site of exchange, one that entwines the actions and reactions of the colony with their biological peers. The boundaries and roles of machine, organism, self-collective, participant artwork are blurred in this piece through repeated engagement and collective response. Behavioral paths are determined not only by human reaction, but also through continuous behavioral shifts among the pods themselves. When the residue of human engagement ripples across the wall, it does so as a reflection of these relationships.